Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Rooster's Nest. My name is The Rooster, and every morning I go live right here on Vigo and on YouTube to read to us all from this book called The Book of Awakening by Dr. Nope, by Mark Nepo. And then I pull a card from this deck called The Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude by Dr. Darren R. Weissman. And we do these things so that we can have some peace in our hearts as we go about our day because lord knows i need it all the time every single step of the way and this uh this book is really cool because it has a an insight a message a powerful message for every single day of the year 365 messages and right now we are on we are on october 19th so i read from this book every day and then this is really cool because there are 52 cards in this deck, uh, each one with a really lovely image in nature and a lovely message. And we pick it at random so we know that that message is meant for us today on this very day. Yeah, so that's the show. And uh, I also like to perform sometimes. Um, sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. Uh but yes, I have been doing it every day at the end after reading from the book and from pulling after pulling a card. Um, and I've kind of changed it up a little bit so that I don't have to do a performance every single day. Uh, I've kind of got themed days going now. We're trying that out. Um, today will be Tasteful Tuesday. And I will interpret that however I want every Tuesday. Yesterday was Menagerie Monday, and uh, I pick an instrument from my menagerie to play. Um, yeah, and then sometimes I, I share some personal information because I like people to know what's going on with me all the time. I like being completely honest, and I feel like I haven't had a lifetime where I got to just do that, where I got to just like speak my heart and be heard and understood so it feels really important for me to do that now um i i have a lot of like fear and sadness and stuff in my heart right now um it started at like three in the morning oh no it started last night and then it was it was a hard it was a hard night but um i got up and i went for a walk and i had a good cry and then uh, this morning i went for a walk again and it was beautiful out and the one thing that I always preach is gratitude, no matter what you're feeling. Hello, Alex. Alex, no matter what's going on for you, it's so important to have gratitude at the same time. So if you can feel all of that pain that you have and be grateful, then you're set because we know that pain and sadness and all of the, all of the hard feelings, everything, everything passes. You know, we know that joy passes too. So if you can feel grateful for all of it all the way through, then you're, then you're good. Then you're, then you're going to be great. You're going to be okay. It's going to be okay, everybody. That's the, that's the rooster ramble today. Cause yeah, one thing also I will say is about love. Uh, this guy, this guy, he has loved and lost way too many times. Way too many times. More times than I think anybody should. Um, but I still keep loving. And and the best you can do is love yourself wholly and fully and completely. And if you do, if you can do that and then still have love for somebody, then that's that's beauty. That's true beauty. And then it can be really healing. It can be really healing to fully love yourself and be able to love somebody at the same time. And loving somebody else makes you feel good. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. October 19th says, Our Sense of Calling. Every year around the scalp of the planet, the caribou run the same path of migration along the edge of the Arctic Circle. They are born with some innate sense that calls them to this path. And every year along the way, packs of coyote wait to feed on the caribou. And every year, despite the danger, the caribou return and make their way. Hi, Cliff. Welcome to my life. 
Often nature makes things think uh, often nature makes difficult things very clear. What feels like confusion is frequently our human refusal to th see things for what they are. What lesson do the caribou shout to us with the thunder of their hooves as they deepen the crown of the planet? They are evidence, even as we speak, of the fact that in every living thing there is an inner necessity that outweighs all consequence. For the caribou, it is clear what it is. For spirits carried in human form, it is a blessing and a curse that we don't always know our calling. Part of our migration is the finding out. What is it we are called to beneath all form formal ambition? The caribou tells us that though there are risks and dangers that wait in the world, we truly have no choice but to live out what we are born with to find and work our path. These elegant animals bespeak a force deeper than courage. And though some would call the caribou stupid, the mystery of their... <laughs> I feel like these freaking caribou. Hey, James, what's up? The mystery of their migration reveals to us the quiet, irrepressible emergence of living over hiding, of being over thinking, of participating over observing, of thriving over surviving. In regions near the Arctic, the caribou are not just seen as animals living out an instinct at all costs. Rather, it is believed that their endless run, no matter what stands in their way, is what keeps the earth turning. And somewhere beneath all hesitation and despair, it is our endless call to being in each of us and all of us together that keeps the fire at the center of the earth burning. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm reading from the Book of Awakening. There's a, there's a beautiful message for each uh, day of the year. And I'm, I'm having an achy heart, an achy, breaky heart. Um... It's hard to talk about exactly why. Um, I don't really know how to do it. But I can say that I feel a lot like these caribou. <laughs> Loving despite everything. Loving uninhibitedly anyways, at all costs, I will continue to love with all of my heart because that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a moment where I was like, hi. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Khalid, for asking. I, uh, just talking about how I'm not that great, but I'm okay. You know, when uh, I'm from Canada, hey, tap snap doll. So my friends uh, who just joined, this is a show. Nice to meet you too, my friend. This is a show where I read from this book uh, and we do a meditation together. I'm a very emotional guy. So if you're here, get ready to have to witness that. Ready? We're going to do some meditation. So it says, sit quietly and ask yourself what you are called to. If you don't have a sense of inner calling, please read on anyways. Okay. Sit quietly and ask yourself what you are called to. If you don't have a sense of inner, okay, what you're called to. Hmm. Describe what arises without any conclusion. Oh, Moony Moonchild, you're here. Hi. I ask him. We're just doing the meditation. I'm feeling real moody moon today. Are you moon? moon is it moon chili? I thought I always would say moon child, but yeah, lots of achy in the heart, you know, just like being so in love. 
not knowing what to do with it. Okay. Other than you have to just love yourself, right? Thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Us moody kids got to stick together. <laughs> Ugh. Chile. Okay, I'm sorry. Moon Chile. 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 You got it. Sorry about that. Uh, Khalid, thanks for asking that question. Um, I'm a drag king. G-R-A-G-K-I-N-G. -G. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. Usually, yeah, it's up to interpretation. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> okay, describe what arises without, so, so moody, moody, moon, chilly. We are, um, Ah, uh, darling, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you for gifting to me. You're my biggest supporter. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Okay. So it says, sit quietly and ask yourself what you're called to. If you don't have a sense of inner calling, please read on anyways. So sit quietly and ask yourself what you're called to. Describe what arises without any conclusion. Aw, that means everything. Thank you. Describe what arises without any conclusion. If you feel called to sing, do not conclude you need to become a singer. If you feel called to paint, do not conclude you need to become a painter. If you feel called to plant, do not conclude you need to become a gardener. Thank you for the tabs. Stay with the essence of what arises. Receive it as an energy that lives inside you and not as a goal you have to achieve. So obviously, as you all know, I am <laughs> really in love with Ms. Gregor. Um, and it's funny because uh, I have effed things up so many times that I don't know anymore if I even have a chance. Um, but I'm still called to love them. So that's just, that's just what I have to do. And so I can't conclude uh, that anything is going to happen from it, but I'm just going to keep on loving anyways. So uh, receive it as an energy that lives inside you and not as a goal you have to achieve. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Um, yeah, so I think my rag's coming up, number one. <laughs> and number two, I've been eating really crappy and um, not taking the best care of myself. So, like, this is what happens. This is what happens when you don't take very good care of yourself and uh, when you eat a bunch of junk food. Thanks, friend. So we're going to see what this deck says today. What's our insight? What do we got today? Ready? Here we go. So it's snotty and I don't have any freaking Kleenex down here right now. Hello. Hashtag Deepwood Oakland. We're just about to pick a card. I'm crying because I'm a moody baby right now. <laughs> Thanks for the tabs, moody. Um, but we're going to pick a card from the Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude. Ooh, gratitude. Uh, um, because I feel things. That's why. I'm crying because I feel things. Duh. <laughs> no. Um, I was just talking about why. So I don't know. I don't really want to say it again. We're just going to move on. Okay, my friend? So what's it going to be today? What's our card going to say? What do we, what do we got? What's the nature of infinite love and gratitude telling us? What's it going to be today? Uh, what do we got today? What do we got today? Uh, what's it going to be today? Ooh, what's it going to be today? Ooh, what you got for me today? Let's see. Oh, what's it going to be today? It says, 
journey. Look at this. Oh, mommy. Yeah. Oh, mama. Um, yeah, it's cool because this morning when I went for a walk, it was like really cold and I was thinking about how winter was coming and that just made me feel more like scared and sad at in some way, but then also just like, no, like it's going to be okay. Like I've been having a lot of emotions where like I feel this like fear and sadness, but then at the same time, there's like this swooping love that comes in to hold me and say, it's okay, baby. You're going to get through it. It's okay to feel your feelings, but also you're going to be okay. So this journey, look at through, through the winter time, right? Moody. Yes journey through the winter time it's gonna be a journey through the winter time it's gonna be a journey through the winter time okay regardless of the fears associated with change it is the only path it is the only path to healing i embrace change with gratitude oh for fuck's sakes gratitude I want change. I want positive change. I want something good for once. Real good. <laughs> Regardless of the fears associated with change, it is the only path to healing. I embrace change with gratitude. Hi, MD, Hossein, and Chidu. Welcome to my live. We just pulled this card from this deck called the nature of infinite love and gratitude Ooh, gratitude it says journey regardless of the fears associated with change it is the only path to healing i embrace change with gratitude mm. yeah and the next card was inspiration with the two damselflies getting it on uh yeah thanks for sharing Moody Moon Chili says, I'm dealing with a huge change right now that I'm so afraid of what's about to happen, but I'm trying to embrace change with gratitude. Good. That's good. Well, perfect. This card was, was definitely for us today. You were meant to be here, my darling. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, yeah, that really, you know, it's it feels so much better when we feel like there's people on the journey with you. So you're not just doing this thing alone so that's awesome okay so those were the two things and now i'm gonna perform for you guys and it's gonna feel nice because yeah it's like i i didn't actually mean to be oh uh, yeah thanks sweetie honestly i really appreciate that i do really have a lot of people um like that 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 care about me and want me to be happy and all these things so i'm blessed in that way and i appreciate i really do appreciate that uh okay yeah because this song is cute and yeah it's dedicated to you miss <laughs> everything i do that's just the way i am okay that's my calling <laughs> why goddess why You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. You and I are just like a couple of tots running across the meadow, picking up lots of forget-me-nots. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful fling to be flung. And even when I'm old and gray, 
I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you make me feel so young You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak Ooh. I wanna go and play hide and seek I wanna go and bounce the moon Just, just like a toy balloon Ooh. You and I are just like a couple of tots Run across the meadow Picking up lots of forget-me-nots You make me feel so young You make me feel there are songs to be sung Bells to be rung And a wonderful fling to be flung Even when I'm old and gray I'm gonna feel the way I do I do without you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Den, Ryan, and George. Welcome to my live. My name is The Rooster. I'm here every morning to read to you, pull a card, and then do a little dancing, singing performance of some kind on some days. And that's the show. <sighs> Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that song uh, is called, I think it's just called Make Me Feel So Young. Yeah, You Make Me Feel So Young mm -hmm. by uh, by Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. The Rat Pack. Radical. Yep, that's it. So uh, I will see you all again tomorrow morning as I got to do some d writing and posting and uh and then clean my house before i go to work bye moody thanks so much for being here bye everybody remember you can never fail if you never give up oh good i'm so glad thanks honey yeah i i hope so too i mean it's it's already better nothing's really wrong you know it's just feelings it's just feelings they get they just make you they want to throw you around <sighs> Remember, you can never fail if you never give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on living. Don't give up on living your life, okay? That's the number one. Number two, if you... Oh, wait, what is number two? Hello there, Prez Fly Peppy. Number two is... Uh, everyone is someone. So we have to ask ourselves... And find who we are. That's the journey. Remember, journey. And number three, if you ever feel down, all you have to do is say, ah, 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 And the rooster will be with you. Take care, everybody. Oh, thanks so much for all those taps. I'm off now. Thanks for being a fan. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm here every morning. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. I love you. Take care.